hi hi it's me chia welcome so recently i've been thinking about my reading experience in nigeria and how it has evolved and i know this isn't possible without the bookstores who have made the effort to accommodate both readers and writers so in honor of them i decided to make this video about the five bookstores that can take all my money So in no particular order, let's get started. So the first bookstore I'm going to mention is Adam's Pages. They are a physical bookstore located in Abuja, Nigeria, and they deliver nationwide. And I also think they handle international delivery. Yes, I'm actually, I actually think I've seen them when I've gone to their store, send out international delivery orders. I decided to mention Adam's Pages first because it was the first bookstore I visited in Abuja ever, I think. Well, at least it's the first bookshop I visited after a very long time and by long time I'm talking about years like maybe 10 years growing up I relied on getting books from my sister or my school libraries or book fairs or any shop I walk into that might happen to have books in it but even all that stopped after I got to a point where I started moving around a lot and I kind of lost all my books, so I just gave up on notion of buying physical books and I got used to getting ebooks. But buying all those ebooks, reading ebooks doesn't just feel the same as reading physical books to me. And when I settled back in Abuja, my hunger for physical books started all over again. And it was during that time that I stumbled across Adam's pages through Instagram. I found their address through Instagram and I decided to make the trip to the bookstore. Honestly, it was uh, it was kind of like a big thing for me. It wasn't just like, oh, I'm going to a place or like if you're going to a nice restaurant. Actually, actually felt my heart beat going to the store because I hadn't gone into one in such a long time. And I was so scared that because of like some experiences I've, I've had with libraries and things like that or just... The kind of books I've gotten used to seeing in recent years or not, not that recent years anymore. I was so scared that I was not going to enjoy the experience and that was going to destroy the newfound hope I had in bookstores. So I was really scared going to Adam's Pages but I made a trip and I really was impressed by the store and I love the atmosphere. They have like a reading room where they also have their, their occasional book club meets. But the reason I got hooked on the bookstore was because I met the store manager, Oluwatoyi. She she has just like this very welcoming personality and it was easy to get into conversation with her. We started talking about books in Gaby and she answered like all the questions I had easily, both as a reader and as a writer, like both questions I had for her being a reader and being a writer. It was such a welcoming atmosphere that i knew that i was going to come back again she also really enjoys reading that it was easy to get book recommendation from her and because of her interest in books i always end up buying books when i go there up to one point where i decided that when i was, the one day i was going to visit the store for like a different reason to confirm like an information and i decided not to take any money with me except the amount of money i had to spend for that day like i planned on not getting anything but somehow she was able to convince me to buy a book and end up transferring money for a book i like i didn't regret it because i still enjoyed the book i love buying books so it's kind of like knowing that the people in the store will not kill your interest or vibe to like get something to enjoy the reading experience you know so it was really great meeting her it was really great finding the store i also attended one of their book club meetings that was also really interesting so it's such a nice like bookstore and has a nice community too so yeah that is why i dance pages is my first recommendation on this channel the second bookstore on my list is book peddler I've been following them silently on Instagram for a while now, but sadly I've not had the chance to go to their store in person since it's in Lagos and I'm all the way in Abuja. Still, the books they post are always like books that I 
heard of and i find to be really interesting so i keep telling myself like soon you're going to buy soon you're going to order like a bunch of books soon you're going to visit the store hopefully that soon will come because i really want to buy books from them it's like they really know what books to stock up on like one day i was doing my silence watching on instagram viewing bookstores and i saw that they were having a giveaway now i've never won a book in a giveaway before so when I entered the contest, it was kind of like resigned. Oh, I never win. So let me just enter just for entry's sake, whoever. Who knows what happens or that I didn't expect to happen. And I won the book. Oh my gosh, I won the book from Book Pedna. And I was so excited. Like, it was the first time I ever won a book. I know, so exciting getting a book that sounded so interesting for free and as a winning gift. So it's kind of like you're a winner, you got it for free and it's a book. Oh my gosh, so i received the book from them and i haven't read the book yet unfortunately and it's like one of the books that i don't want to talk about yet until i've read it so i can do a proper review so when i do i will talk about this bookstore and the author and the book more so that is for another day hopefully soon hopefully soon but yeah this is like the reason i like book peddler they are engaging and they have really nice book recommendations and who doesn't like if a giveaway doesn't make you support a bookstore what else will like seriously so yeah i i i, I support them just like if nothing else for that reason because i want a book so books peddler is another bookstore i highly recommend the third bookstore on my list is Layla bookstore this bookstore is run by Layla. i believe that is her real i believe that's her name and i think she's running it by herself so I'm not 100% sure, so don't take my word for it, but from what I've seen, it seems like she's running it all by herself. But either way, she puts in so much effort for her readers. I see her posting videos on IGTVs, making reels, stories. She goes out of her way to discuss about like her buying or reading process or the books she likes. So it gives this authentic feeling because she engages her audience and you can really tell that she loves these books that she is recommending to us and making available for us and the books she gets are usually generally affordable i know once we hear affordable books they think really used worn out books but that's not even true she does get some used books but she also gets mostly like new books i see a lot of new books on her page i know for sure that she does get some new books and even the ones that are used books she uh, takes pictures of it in the conditions they are in which is actually really in good condition so you know what you're getting into before you buy the books so it's like it's really great to see someone like go out of their way to make books that people will struggle to buy available for them at affordable prices i think one of the things i love the most about her bookstore is that she has like a wide range of stories like wide genre range so you have romance you have fantasy you have like there's so many genres in her stories books that not a lot of bookstores carry anymore or carried at all she has them and the kind of books also like when they come out in series she usually gets them in the collection so you know that you can buy the whole thing at once instead of waiting thinking like buying one and maybe not finding the next one so i know she, like she makes the efforts to make books pocket friendly prices and also different types for different people so anybody can buy from her bookstore and be satisfied so yeah that is why she is my number three recommendation and for my number four recommendation we have bodo's bodo's i've never said that word out loud but i think i got it right we have bodo's bookstores they are a bookstore located in New York and fun fact, I lived in New York at some point in my life and if I hadn't given up on buying books by then, I probably would have found this bookstore and paid a visit but sadly, I was there at the point where I was not even looking at anything so I never got to visit the bookstore and I really wish I did because it seems like such a nice store to visit Luckily, there is Instagram and there's all these future travel opportunities I actually got to know about the bookstore recently and they have a good range of interesting books a lot of popular releases a lot of new releases and i know that they have like a lot of self-help books i'm not a self-help person myself but like i know a lot of people really like self-help books so if you ever want to buy self-help books i think that the i'll say they're probably my number one recommendation for those books 
because I see a lot of them there and a lot of variety of them there. So yeah, that that's one of the reasons I recommend it. But aside from all that, one of the reasons I really like the bookstore is because of the owner, Ms. Enobong Etsuk. I'm sorry if I don't pronounce the name right. I think I did. I hope I did. But yes, I love the bookstore because of her. I got the chance to speak to her recently and you can really tell a lot about what a bookstore, a business prioritizes by the character of the owners or the people that are front, forefront in the business. As a writer, the advice she gave me was invaluable. Like some things she didn't need to tell me, like something that no one else would bother telling me. She told me, like she gave me some like useful information that actually saved me a lot of headache because there were some things I was trying to figure out and she was kind enough and open enough to let me know these things without me having to pester her about it or anything like that. So that, I was really grateful for that. She also does uh, book reviews and I think she's like, I don't know if she's a member or head, but she's like has a book club too. So like the book reviews and everything makes me understand or know that she is invested in these books she gets into her store because she reads them too and she knows the value of these books and those are the books she recommends to her readers, to her buyers. And another fun fact, she also wrote a book, she released a word search puzzle book about Nigeria, which I think is like a fun activity for us to, for we Nigerians to call us and for us to share knowledge about our place, about our country with other people. So that kind of connection she has, understanding where readers are coming from and where writers come from make her selection of books and like her engagement with her audience her readers her buyers really authentic really genuine really smooth so that is why i'm recommending her bookstore and the fifth and final bookstore on this list is roving heights like if you are a book lover in nigeria and you haven't heard of roving heights where have you been i discovered them on instagram and my first time in their bookstore, well, the Abuja branch, they have a Lagos branch, which I haven't been to yet. So I've only been to Abuja branch. Anyways, the first time in the Abuja branch was doing a book reading with an author. I'll admit I was a bit intimidated at first when I walked into the store because it was kind of like a first experience for me going for an author's reading. And I was also projecting kind of thinking about how my experience would be when i finally did a book reading as an author well we all know i've done a couple of well a few of those at this point i've done a lot mostly virtual some reading then one live book signing so yeah i've kind of had my experience still waiting for that full proper physical book reading back to the topic at hand the store was really nice. It had a very nice atmosphere. It's all cleaned, all nice. It's calm. I like the environment and they have like variety of books. The store manager there was also really nice. She, I came there like for the author reading and also to understand more about the writing and publishing process in Nigeria. And she answered a lot of my questions easily about the publishing process, how to get publishers, things like that. So it was really helpful to me. And I was really impressed by the kinds of books they had. They had like a variety. They had the same kind of bookstore, bookstores with like nicer books have. And I was, I liked that so much. So, but one thing though is my general experience is that I don't get the kind of books I like. Not like, I get some of the books I like, but the number one type of book I like is fantasy books. And I've made my thirst for fantasy books very obvious to the world at this point. But like, I hardly get to find the kind of fantasy books I want here because of like shipping costs, different things like crowd, stuff like that. So, so many things I know have influenced why it's not that easy. <laughs> but I don't know. It's like they kept seeing me <laughs> in their dreams, <laughs> disturbing them for fantasy books. Like, because all of a sudden, one day, boom, I started seeing kinds of fantasy books i love in their stores book after book and i've just been buying them like crazy like i'll buy books spend a lot of money buying books in their stores and next thing they get new shipments 
with new fantasy books and i'm like yes yeah. so i really love that they've stepped up their up their game people like me are being considered more now and i think other bookstores are picking up on this too so i really love the fact that they have a lot of the books i want and i plan on making a trip to their store soon because i've been eyeing so many books in that store some i've ordered I had delivered to me but so i want to go there myself to pick up so yes this is why this is the fifth bookstore on my list they won me over with their fantasy selection they have so many other nice books but um, fantasy fantasy books thank you Robin heights so that is it for the five bookstores that i can spend all my money in without any shame yes they can take all my money and i think they they all deliver nationwide and i know some of them deliver internationally too i'll leave all the uh, all the links i have on them in the description below and i hope you check them out no matter what part of the world you are in because i think they have really really nice books both books about nigeria about africa about fiction non-fiction about outside things like they, they have a lots of fancy like a lot of i said fantasy again <laughs> they have a lot of range and I think that's really great. I think you really like it. I think it's really worth it. So again, I'll leave their links in the description below and I hope you check them out. If you have any other bookstore in Nigeria or anywhere that's ships to Nigeria easily that you really like or you think is really worth checking out, you can leave a comment below. I would check them out if I can or check them out online if, I, if that's easier for me. I really want to find more bookstores, really want to get in, more in there. And that is it for my video today. If you've liked this video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.